And, uh, but first, let's go ahead and get to Renee with a deeper dive on our coronavirus numbers for today. Hello, yeah, Renee. Yeah, so we saw some relatively big numbers today, but I want to give you a kind of a good news, bad news, good news, potentially bad news scenario here. I love this number, this R0 number, talking about the spread of the virus. Look at where we are. We just snuck out of this red area that we had been in for a really long time, and we're right here in the green. So that is definitely good news. That means that the virus is not spreading, but it is actually slowing down according to this number. We're joining a long list of states that uh, are moving in that direction. So that's good for right now. Of course, this number fluctuates, as you know, every single day. But I did want to bring you that on this Friday. Kind of the bad news situation here. If you look to the left hand side of your screen, you're seeing that Maricopa County is still number third in the country in terms of counties with the highest numbers of cases. We are really creeping close to that next one just within about 5,000. And that's because we're reporting another 8,090 cases today bring us over that 700,000 number that we we're inching really close to yesterday. A number of new deaths, 229 being reported, bringing us now up over 12,000 just by one. Also, 22,511 new tests being performed in the state over the last 24 hours. And that is changing our rate of positivity a little bit here. We're seeing that sneak up just one more percent to 21% for the week, 20% still for last week. So uh, things looking relatively interesting in terms of the numbers that we're finishing out the week with hospitalizations dipping down just a little bit to 4,499. Troy?